はい。The theme for the conference is illuminate the learning. And I'm here today to think about if we help guide our students to take action, then together we can make the world a brighter place. Before I do that, I want to go back to my childhood. I'm the one who's hanging sideways. I'm next to my brother. We did everything together football, cricket, tennis, you name it, we did it. We loved being outside. That's not to say we didn't have downtime. We played on a PlayStation and our Game Gears. We even watched telly. The A team always had a plan. MacGyver could get out of a tight situation. But we watched Batman. Just because, well, he's Batman. We love to role play Batman and Robin, fighting crime, making the world a better place. Now, when I'm telling you this, please think about the Adam West era of Batman, not the Dark Knight. There's a big difference. Now, you might be wondering why am I talking about Batman? Well, the reason's this. Last year, there was a report from Child Development Journal. And in that report, they observed students aged four and six years old doing a repetitive task for 10 minutes at a time. What they found was that the children who dressed as Batman performed better. They persevered for longer. They tried harder. Now, if you're not a fan of Batman, not to worry, because the same result also happened with children who were dressed as Dora the Explorer, the ecological warrior. The same also for Rapunzel with her golden magical hair and Bob the Builder, who, well, he builds a better future, doesn't he? And this got me wondering we're superheroes, we're teachers. We do so much every single day. We listen, we talk, we guide, we plan, we collaborate. You name it, we do it. But I thought we can maybe help to guide them to take some more action in the world. You see, the clock's ticking. We've made some drastic changes to our planet. And unless we do something soon, there's not going to be a way back. Climate change is real. Poverty, famine, a lack of clean water. Not all children get the opportunity to have a quality education. But I think there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And I think education, teachers, we can be that light if we guide our students to take more action. I'm not asking us to change what we're doing. We're doing some amazing things every single day. We're asking our students to ask questions, to find out things, to make connections, uncover complexities. But what I'm saying is that action should be at the core of what we're asking our students to do. And this is already happening around the world. There are movements and groups, the Global Goals, Teach SDGs, of movements which are putting action at the core, at the center of the learning. So let's offer zero waste campaigns in our schools. Let's use Corridors as a way of chalk talks so that students can actually understand what is happening in the world. Let's use art as a way of sharing our message to others. Let's use modern foreign languages authentically. Let's create new media in the Media Lab to share our messages of how we can make a difference. Let's take part in global projects that have these ideas at the core, a global understanding. When I was younger, as I told you earlier, we used to role play Batman and Robin, fighting crime, guiding for a better future. And I think that's our role as teachers now, to guide our students to take action. They can be the next superheroes. We can be more like Batman. 
We can be more like Dora the Explorer. After all, who doesn't want to be a superhero? Superhero.